Hello and welcome to another edition of the Microsoft Perfume Quick Start series. Today I would like to show you a new functionality released in Microsoft Perfume, the managed attributes. Let's head over to the Perfume Studio and talk a little bit what are managed attributes for. Whenever you browse a data asset in your Perfume catalog, well, there are some properties that can be edited. Like you can add an asset description, you can uh, add classifications, glossary terms, and so on. Wouldn't it be nice to have a central list of attributes that could be applied to a certain type of data asset? And that are those managed attributes. Managed attributes can be configured and created in your data catalog data map section in Perfume Studio over here and the manage attributes. You can create a managed attribute and all those managed attributes need to be grouped into a managed attribute group. So you can create a managed attribute group and a new attribute. Let's start creating a new group. What I would like to add to my data catalog is a group of attributes to define more information for business logic in our databases, stored procedures. So I'm going to add a new group, business logic attribute group, attributes group. You can add a description and create that group. The group itself, well, you can't add some information to that group. We need to create a new attribute over here. So we need to add that one, create a new attribute, and we need a name. And I will add an attribute here, which is called the business logic owner. So I want to define who is the owner. Is it a vendor or is it custom logic, in-house logic? And we need to define and select the attribute group. So I will select the business logic attributes group. And now it's time to think about the type of the field. In my case, I'm going to implement a single choice field. So it's like, is it a vendor or is it a custom build logic by ourselves? So I'm going to select the single choice. It's either a vendor or it's custom Oh my God, in-house over here. And now we need to select the attribute types where those managed attributes can be applied to. I'm going to look for procedures over here, Azure SQL procedures, and not the procedure runs. I'm only selecting those Azure SQL procedures. And with that, hit apply and add those attributes to my group. So we've got a new group over here and we've got a new attribute. I will add another attribute which is called business logic description. Add it to that group. It's a text and again select the procedure over here, apply and add that one. Maybe you've seen, I've already created another attribute group over here, a general data system attributes group. And there's one attribute over here, which is called the data environment. And this one allows me to select, is it a dev, test, integration or production data system? I've associated four asset types. And what you see here, I, I started the edit mode but that edit mode, it's very limited. Attention, if you create an attribute, a managed attribute as of today, you can only mark it as expired or change the uh, asset type over here, but you can't change options, choices, types, whatever. So it's very limited as of today. Be aware if you create that one. And that uh, attribute group, that data environment, I added and assigned it to, oh my God, the tooltip is gone. It's over here. It's for the Azure SQL database, SQL database, and so on. 
And now let's see it in action. So we've defined and selected the asset types. Now we move over to the stored procedure in our data catalog. Gonna refresh that the newly created attribute groups are available. And if I head over to the edit page of a stored procedure, what you see here, it's the manage attribute section. And we can add a new manage attribute. We've got the business logic owner and we need to select, okay, that one is a custom. No, it's a vendor that created that one. And the business logic description, we do not know because it's coming from a window. So that's easy as it is. Save it and the manage attributes are applied over here. Um, I've already shown you the, the second attribute group I created, the one for the data systems and I'm head over to a SQL database over here. Let's see, ah, and it's already applied. Let's head over to that one. And here we can change lineage test. Oh, it's not def, it's a test database. Save that one and edit the new and updated information to our database, the data catalog, sorry. Um, that's it for today. Managed attributes, short, short overview. You can create your managed attribute groups and those attributes you have to select the associated asset types and be aware you can't change that attribute definition afterwards. You can only mark it as expired and add a new attribute to that group afterwards. So with that, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and let's use managed attributes in your Perview data environment.